Hey everyone, how you doing? So, it's just a little update because I don't think I have fully explained everything. <laughs> so, I have diabetic neuropathy in my feet, which means I have pain and tingling and numbness in my feet because. I'm stupid and an idiot and I didn't look after myself properly and I'm not looking after myself the best that I should be right now. But that's going to change. So, um, it gets very painful. I'm on medication for it, which I have to take one tablet at night before bed because it takes up to, it takes like 10 hours to work, sometimes a bit longer for me to not constantly be feeling the stabbing or the st stinging and the tingling in my feet um, constantly. So, yeah, and because of that, it also makes you drowsy. And I can wake up in the morning dr still drowsy. And so I had to go to the doctor. I had to get a medical certificate for work and Centrelink because... I cannot work more than 10 hours a week. I cannot work more than four hours at a time. Um, otherwise, that they're really... Like the top of my feet, like feet, my, my toes and that, I get home and they're really stiff. And so, yeah, that's not a nice feeling. It's not fun it's serious I'm not taking it lightly I am taking it more serious now than I was so yeah that's uh that's what's with that so at the moment I don't have any shifts for next week with today what are we it's still Saturday we've still got 15 minutes left of Saturday <laughs> so I worked Monday and Thursday uh, last week. Uh, so, yeah, it will be... We'll see how it goes. Um, but, yeah, I have not long taken my tablet because it does wear off. It's not very long-lasting. So as I said, it take it's probably like lasts for about fourteen hours, well twelve really, not really fourteen hours, but it takes about ten hours to start working. That's why I go take it at night. And so with work, I'm not working mornings if I can help it, and they've work know that they've been great with everything. So, yeah, it's it's not good. So I have to try now and just eat better. I can still have some of that junky food, just not as often as I used to have it. Maybe once a week or once a fortnight, you know, that sort of thing. So, yeah, you'll see in the last... Lots of grocery hauls. There are junk things in there, but we are limiting ourselves with them now. We're not having it as often. So that's where we are at. Oh, so I said it's late. I'm tired. It's nearly midnight. But I wanted to film this before I went to bed. And yeah. Uh, that's where things are at the moment. I have a specialist appointment on Wednesday, so I'll probably find out more then. Um, yeah, which reminds me, Monday. Yeah, I've got some stuff I've got to do Monday beforehand. Um, yeah, so that's where we are at. I've been thinking about my channel, what I do with it, and that um, 
I don't know what direction I want it to go in really. Um, I've really more been enjoying just doing my cash the cash stuffing videos and I want to do more craft videos. Um, but I don't know what else, whether I want to keep doing a lot of like grocery things and other things. Whatever. Um, yeah, because... I just really don't know. I need to think about what I want to do and maybe just, yeah. So I was thinking about having another channel and putting like, just doing like one channel for like my envelope money stuff. Another channel for craft, blah, blah, whatever. But, yeah, I thought, no, nah, I can't be bothered with that. But I do want to do at least, as I said, my money Mondays each week. I may even do two money ones to make it the videos a bit not as long. I'm thinking I want to do, I'll do the cash stuffing, but... And also the savings ones, but I'll do them in two separate ones. And then I'll do a craft one. And every so often I'll chuck in a update or grocery haul or and that. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. That is my plans at the moment. Um, to just... Uh, and do that so my next money monday will be just the stuff in the cash the envelopes but not the savings ones that will be a separate video um just so i can make them a bit shorter and that yeah easier to be easier to rewatch and edit that way um and yeah i need to start filming more craft videos as well cuz i'm thinking now i can do that i can film the others now that i basically the max amount of days i can be go at and work are 3 um I mean, the minimum's going to be one. But there have been some changes with some things at work, so... Which I'm kind of not happy about, but anyway, I'm not going to go into that. But we'll, we'll see how things go and what shifts I get because they know that there's one shift I do not like doing... And most of the time that shift is going to be mornings. So, and I can't do that anyway, which is all right, but there may be some afternoons or, and, that, and not evenings because that shift is the door shift, like your door greeter shift. But from 6 p.m. they have security doing that, um, not staff. So, yeah, and it's not really a shift I really like. So it's probably one of the easiest shifts, but yeah, not a lot. There's, they're always wanting people to do that shift. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Um, but yeah, so at the moment, I don't have any shifts for next week. We'll see what happens, though, Monday, if I get a phone call. Um, I can't work any more this week, so tomorrow, Sunday, I can't do any more. I can't work because I can only work a maximum of 10 hours. I've already worked seven and a half, and the minimum sh a minimum shift is three hours, so I can't go over that. I know some people say, yeah, but it's only half an hour. Yeah, it makes a big difference. Um, so that's it. Plus, it's, I could get in trouble if I 
even just working that extra half hour, I can get in trouble for it because in my file, my medical file says I can only work 10 hours a week. So, yeah. Let's see how that goes. Um, yeah, I know what else. I've had some issues with my phone. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm filming on it. That's fine. I could do that. But I've had some issues today with it, with getting messages and phone calls just haven't been coming through. Um, my phone wouldn't ring and I would but I'd get a text message saying that I had someone had called but they didn't leave a message and that but my phone didn't ring and I had my phone right next to me on me the volume's been up because I was at a party for a friend's little boy this morning and I had my phone on me the whole time with me on the time I had it because it was in a play center I had it turned up the volume right up so I would hear or at least feel the vibration if someone was calling but I didn't get that didn't say it didn't come up saying that I had a missed call I just had a text message saying that I had a missed call but there was no notification that anyone had called apart from the text message saying they called but didn't leave a message because with mine with my the company I'm phone company I'm with, it's talk to text. So someone will leave a message, but it'll be sent as a text message. I don't have the um a voicemail, but I did get a message from the company saying that within the next couple of weeks they're introducing voicemail, which will be good because I know a lot of people will not leave a message if it's talk to text. They will, but they'll leave a message if it is the voicemail. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so, I mean, I couldn't do anything, can't, like, later today, like, because I got home from, and I didn't even play or anything or run around at this party. I was just, I just had fun watching the kids have fun. Um, I came home, sat here on the recliner like this, put the footy on to watch the last game of the season, uh, for my team anyway, we finished on the bottom of the ladder. And I was laying here, I was watching it, and next thing I know, the game's over. And the TV's turned off. Because I'd fallen asleep. <laughs> so, yeah, I, was, I know I didn't get much sleep last night, so that it's probably why I was so tired. Um... Yeah, I think the only reason I stayed awake for the couple of hours I was at the party was because it was so noisy there. <laughs> and, I mean, there's food there and that, but I didn't have I didn't have much because I'd got, like the, I woke up at 10, the party started at 11. Um, I got there about 10 past 11. But I wasn't that hungry, so I didn't really eat much. I had, of course, in Australia, you can't really have a party without fairy bread. If you don't know what it is, look it up, fairy bread. It may seem weird to you, but it is so good. You cannot have a birthday party without fairy bread. I had one little triangle, so it's like a quarter of a piece of bread <laughs> of that. And then I just snacked on had some fruit. So... I didn't eat any of the like party pies, sausage rolls or chips or anything that they had because um, I wasn't really hungry because I had a late breakfast. But I still needed some to have something. Oh, and I had a little piece of cake, <laughs> um, which was really nice. The mum of the little boy, she made it. She's a She's actually a baker for one of the supermarkets here in Australia, so... Yeah, no, she's she's a, is a really good baker. All right, guys, that's really my update. I just wanted to update you, let you know what was going on. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more, if you want to keep watching, follow me, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe somewhere down below and press the bell notification, comment, all that jazz. 
and I will see you in the next video, which I don't know when it'll be. Bye.